Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a rational inequality. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve and write the solution and interval notation of this inequality. X minus 1 over an X plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Now this problem has a lot of steps that we need to take step by step through. First one, we want to make sure our inequality is, well, has zero on one side, everything else on the other. We already have that, so that's great. Now we want to find our critical points. Our critical points are where the left side of the equation now is equal to zero or undefined. That happens when the numerator and denominator are both equal to zero. Numerator, x minus one equals zero, and denominator, x plus three equals zero. These are our critical points that we're looking for. All right, first one, easy. Add one to both sides and x equals a positive one. Subtract three to both sides on the second one and x equals a negative three. Now notice this one's a little different here, the negative three, is it's undefined, okay? So we wanna keep that in mind when we get our answer. So now we have our critical points. I'm gonna create something on a number line. Now we don't have to put every single number on here. You can if you want. I think we're fine if we do this, negative three and a positive one. Make sure they're in order, negative three to one. And I'm sure you can visualize really where everything else is, but sometimes all the number line kind of, well, I, in my opinion, um, makes it more, I don't know, busy. So now I wanna ask myself a few questions. I'm gonna look at our two parts, a numerator and denominator. I have an x minus one and an x plus three. I'm gonna put a number that's between negative infinity, right here, and negative three. I pick a number in between that range, and I'm gonna see what happens when I plug it in for our first part, our x value. So let's go pick, I don't know, negative 10, okay? So what happens if we put negative 10 in? Negative 10 in for x, minus one, what do we get? What's a negative 11, all right? The second number, same thing, negative 10 plus three, what do we get? Well, negative seven. I don't really care what these numbers are, but what I do care about is if it's a negative number. We have a negative and a negative, okay? Now, we know we have a negative divided by a negative, whatever number that's in this range here. All right, the critical values kind of give us our range. Right here, make the one like that. We have a range here, we have a negative divided by a negative, and every single number within that range is gonna be a positive. This is our x minus one over an x plus three. Within that range, a negative divided by negative is gonna be a positive. So let's do the same thing between negative three and one. An easy number to pick is zero. Put zero in for x. Is zero here, zero minus one is a negative one or a negative, that's all I care about. Zero plus three is a positive three, we have a positive. So negative divided by a positive, coming down here, is a negative. So all values between negative three and one will be negative. Lastly here, we have one, two, well, positive infinity. Let's pick up 10, let's say. Easy number, 10 minus one is a nine, that's a positive. 10 plus three is a positive 13, I get a positive. Positive divided by a positive is a positive. And so now we have our range of values here where we know it's gonna be positive, and positive is greater than zero, okay? So we have negative infinity to three, and from one to positive infinity, we know we're greater than zero. And this is where it kinda gets a little, well, tricky. I'm gonna write my interval notation from negative infinity to three, negative three, sorry. And notice, I'm not putting a bracket here at negative three, because it can equal zero. But notice that negative three, we mentioned that it was undefined, dividing by zero in the denominator. Okay, it's not equal to zero, it's, we're dividing by zero overall, undefined, so we can't equal negative three. Union. But then, positive one, we can equal, right? Positive one up here makes the numerator equal to zero, and when it said it's greater than or equal to zero, right? So it can equal one to positive infinity. And infinities always have parentheses anyway. So there we have it. We've 
solved our red solution in interval notation for this inequality, and x can be between negative infinity and negative 3, not including negative 3, and from 1, including 1, to positive infinity. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to solve a rational inequality. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.